All right, uh, my friends, uh, again, my name is Stolian Popa. I'm a blacksmith fabricator in Raleigh, North Carolina. And uh, I made a movie like, uh, I don't know, two weeks ago or so, about, uh, you know, flattening enamel, grinding, uh, bringing the face to, you know, almost perfect surface. And uh, that was the first, uh, you know, first part of the movie. Now, we are here at the river, and we'll be doing basically the hardening and the tempering, you know. Uh, when I made the first movie, I was not 100% sure that I'm going to do the hardening. It was more like a wish and, uh, you know, I wasn't sure how, how everything is going to come, you know. But anyway, we're here today and, uh, you know, uh, for the last, you know, few days I, I decided to, to do it. Um, I, um, I uh, you know, fixed the, the edges of the anvil and all that stuff. Maybe I should have, you know, hit a lot more since I was doing this, but again, I was more like a wish. I wasn't sure that I would be coming here and, you know, do the quenching. But we're here now. We're ready. We have everything, uh, you know, set. And we're ready to start the fire. Now, what you see on the back of my truck, it's, uh, it's a fork that I made. And, uh, you know, uh, basically this would be, you know, after the, the ambulance is going to be hot enough to the critical point, which would be around 15, 1600 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, once we reach, uh, reach that temperature, we're, we're going to bring the anvil here in the fort and just, you know, uh, put the, the anvil in, into the water. And we'll try to move back and forth, you know, as fast as we can, as well as we can. And uh, this will eliminate basically the, all the air bubbles uh, because the, the, the huge temperature that is going to be in this massive anvil. And uh, if we don't do that kind of movement, you know, the, the, the cooling process, the, the hardening process, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be slower, and we don't want that. Uh, ideally, it would be to have everything like uh, instant, you know, everything, you know, cool down instantly. But it's not possible. But uh, we'll, we'll we'll do the best, you know, we'll do the best to to push the anvil, you know, the fastest we can. So that's why I made this device. And uh, uh, like I said, we tested before before anything else to see that, you know, it's going all the way under the water and. I'm not going to uh, have problem with my truck going back and forth. It's on 4x4 four four already. And uh, so it's everything set. Now, um, this is the forge that I made, you know, from some, some scrap metal, you know, a few days ago. It's actually made from a, uh, a piece of, uh, you know, tube steel. Uh, it's a 4x8 by 3 eighths of an inch gauge, very heavy ones. I burned all kind of holes into this, you know. Uh, you know, I tested yesterday the forge and it was working okay. Uh, so some of them are plugged with dirt and stuff, but but it's uh, it's working. So I, uh, you know, basically I um, have the lift blower on that side, and I have the generator here, and uh, you know we're, we're pretty much ready, you know, to, to, to start the fire. Now I have a door here. I made this door, basically, you know, kind of improvised door, but this will also adjust the airflow, you know, by 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 closing, by opening, you get just more or less air into the the whole thing here. And um, uh, yesterday, like I said, I tested and it, it seemed to work fine. And, uh, I, I believe we have enough air flow. Uh, we'll, we'll reach the critical temperature again, around 15, 1600 degrees. And uh, that will do it, you know. So uh, we are pretty much ready to start the fire. And uh, we'll see what happens there. So we'll put the anvil in the water and then we'll bring it back on the fire. And we'll try to, you know, temper by bringing it to approximately five, 600, you know, 650 degrees Fahrenheit and then we'll do it again. We'll uh, put it back in the fort and just, you know, uh, quench the whole thing again, you know, by, you know, put it, put in the, the whole thing into the water. Uh, so if we do that, then everything would be, would be perfect, you know, and uh, I think it will actually, you know, but right now it's time for work. We just started the fire like five minutes ago, and uh, we we'll let it run maybe for another five minutes or so, and then we'll, uh, we'll be setting the anvil on top of the whole thing. And, uh, uh, so far, uh, things are going smooth.
go. Long way to go. Three more four. The critical temperature. It's probably around 15, 1600 degrees. The magnet doesn't stick anymore. So uh, we're ready. We're ready to quench the whole thing. All right. This is exciting. All right. That's it. We're getting very close to you know uh, removing the amber from water. We'll uh, bring it ashore. We'll turn it upside down and we'll clean the face. You know we'll use a power brush. We'll see that will do a good job. You know we want to see the, the the metal basically. So we want to see the shining. All right. Well, uh, I'm here with Joel, my assistant, who helped me basically with the whole thing, the whole process. And uh, we just took the amber. We removed the amber from water. And now we are going to you know. Uh, we're going to, you know, take it from the fork and flip it upside down and clean and uh, see how the ammo look like. You know, I hope we don't have any chips or anything. And I also hope that uh, the weld that we did, you know, fixing the edges and all that, is still holding. Uh, if you see a crack or anything, that means probably that we, we did not hit uh, properly before we performed the welding. But now is the time to see what we did. And. Uh, after that, we'll put it back on the forge and, uh, you know, restart the fire a little bit and we'll take it and the same process, we'll throw it in the water again. Now, uh, I'm also with my son, my hero, uh, you know, he helped us to do the whole thing, but uh, unfortunately one of the guys has to, to do the filming, so, uh, you know, uh, we can only have two guys the most in the picture. And now, uh, he did my website and all the, you know, good things for my company 
and uh, I thank you for that. You're very welcome. And, uh, you know, good job. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, it's just too much slack. I have to use one of the sand discs, you know, to clean the surface pretty good. Uh, it's, not, it's more slack than I expected. But uh, it's gonna take a few minutes and we'll see what's underneath. But uh, the world was performed on this, this edge all the way and it's, it's perfect. So that means we did a good job and uh, everything is one piece now actually. It's, it's real good. Now we are going to put it back on uh, starter generator and you know give a little more heat and then we'll do it again. We'll put it back in the water. Alright so basically the process is done. Alright we just got back to the shop and uh, the result is amazing. You know it's, uh, it's much better. The ring is better. You know, uh, the, the rebound is, is fantastic, uh, compared with what it was at least, it's, it's, it's super, you know. But like I said, some of the ring, some of the sound, you know, maybe not the perfect one because I have to, you know, still have to clean and, uh, you know, it, it's a lot of slag all over the place. And I'm assuming that will, you know, take some, some of the vibrations, some of the sound. But uh, the rebound is super and uh, I know it's getting better once I clean it better. But uh, this is what we have. accomplished very well done I took chances but uh, look like uh, everything was worth it would I do it again I don't know I don't know it's it's not an easy job but I was curious and honestly I wanted to bring uh, this animal back to life uh, who knows how many generations blacksmith uh, you know use this one make a living on it uh, you know feed their families I want to make sure this animal is gonna be over uh, I mean it's gonna be around for another 200 years or so. So that's all I have to say. I'm very happy and uh, good luck with yours.